I will introduce to you now the Suitcase Ensemble. I'm beginning to get the feeling that I've been stood up. Now that I've been waiting for six months. <laughs> Admittedly, I was a few minutes late. But still. While I was waiting, I made some notes. Anywhere is a bad place to be stuck. That's not my line. That's stolen from the pallets on Picard. But the point still stands. I also wrote some poetry of my own. And I recorded a jazz album. I'm really proud of <laughs> Still, I uh, think the time has come to move along now, but as we leave this empty space, perhaps we should remember what it is that we leave behind and what it is that we take with us.
plan a mighty quest, a meeting to be held in front of a live audience. A meeting that has been publicised as a cabaret. A cabaret meeting. A cutting. I represent the Tropic of Sensation and I am here because I want to find Utopia. I know it's not fashionable to be so hopeful, but I have to try. In preparing for this evening, I've read the profiles of your worlds with great interest. Wilderness, always. Only our dreams have parts. Austerity and minimalism. A mobile phone forgotten upon a miserable street floor. I've studied your values and your history, and I have learnt your songs. And I wondered, how would we share this with each other? How would we share this with our live audience? I wondered how we would make such a decision. I wondered how we would begin to plan our quest. I wondered how we would get anything done without a leader. I thought we'd probably sing some songs and dance some dances because that's what we know how to do and because we have people to entertain, and even though the absence of World 1 and World 3 means we are missing our strongest singer and our strongest dancer, I still couldn't imagine what else we would do for an audience expecting a cabaret. We four present worlds may have indefinable talents, but I believe we can offer warmth and spirit and a certain sense of poetry. And so I took the liberty of uh, preparing an agenda for our meeting, um, a running order for our cabaret. Not that I'm saying I'm your leader, of course I'm not. I just felt that somehow we needed some direction, somehow we needed some order. So did you get it? <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? I just felt it made sense to start at the beginning with the song from world number one. disposition need not apply. Bordering the insatiable, battering the inconsequential, roll up, roll up, gather your possessions and adjust your top hat. All that we require is your soul. 
<laughs> Big jackets, self-curling side partings, jovial bellies, prickly paranoia, car crash meals, dispossessed divas, parway to a heaven, this must be world number five. And in our utopia here, we allow and pride ourselves on the inclusion of all souls. Let Albert meet his Jolene and let theirs be a wavy future. <laughs> How biting the weather could be. Again, sadder. How biting the weather could be. Again, to yourself. How biting the weather could be. Again, with the collar. How biting the weather could be. <laughs> Lose the collar, sadder. How biting the weather could be. Perfect. Send in barrel buckets. <coughs> Cut to the end. Thank you. How could they even know if it was real? Again. How the weather could be? Again, more internal. Thank you. How could they even know if it was real? Again, area. Thank you. How could they even know if it was real? Perfect. One more time. Thank you. How could they even know if it was real? Unless anyone has anything to add. Let's take it from the top. Travellers, welcome to the sixth world, where you cannot plan for tomorrow and yesterday is of no consequence. <clears throat> Here we rely on the instinct of the moment. Our landscape sets out every day to confound us, but we are resilient people, and so are you. Everybody's talking about it. Figuratively speaking, north, south, east and west are hell-bent on chaos. But we don't know where they are. Every morning, after waking up somewhere new, always, only our dreams have paths. You'll be a long time digging and you might never find it. We lost it a long time ago. Everything. Nothing. Forgetfulness. Ever shifting and changing. But what of World 3? The snowy wilderness of mist encounters. Item number seven, the petrified forest. There wasn't much call for a travelling, waiting on hobo, which meant there wasn't much going on in terms of cash for Pistol Pete. <laughs> Beryl Bucket had been a party girl in her youth, but she lost the joy in life a long time ago. How biting the weather could be. You just have to have thoughts in your head. Pete 
could regale you with wild stories of high finance dancing dollies and unregulated folly. Beryl found herself enslaved by the very thing she had so vicariously rebelled against in her youth. But all that belonged to another time and place. How could they even know if it was real? <laughs> You gave them a fellow traveller speech, you fed them, you asked them some questions and they answered them. Here are some of the things they said. Make sure you pay attention to this feedback so the next time visitors come, it will be better. I'm <laughs> 